Let's see if we can't do something about my boredom. All right. Let's just walk in here and kill this very easy boss. Maybe I should stop being terrible at the game before I make YouTube videos of it. But then again, you know, it'd be completely out of the spirit of YouTube. <laughs> the whole point of making Let's Play style videos on YouTube is to be terrible at the game. To humorous results. I don't know how humorous you could call it. Somebody getting passive aggressive and quitting for like three weeks like I did. But, you know, that's going to hit me, isn't it? No, it didn't. All right. The trick is to kill all the skeletons permanently, and they never get hit. It's a secret pro tip that I learned by being subscribed to Game Pro Magazine, and I'm now passing it on to you. I hope they don't find out, because I'd hate to, you know, have my exclusive membership to Game Pro, you know, rights taken away from me. But it's just something that the masses need to know. Here comes a horse. It didn't hit these skeletons, but that's okay. I didn't want it to. I love just getting hit over and over and over again. It's the highlight of my fucking day. I mentioned recently I don't really care for this game, especially compared to Dark Souls 1 and Demon's Souls, which I love. It's like if you had a grandparent that you fucking loved, and then they died, and then suddenly they were brought back to life, but they were completely different and you hated everything about them. Like they looked somewhat the same, Oh yeah, I need to pull this lever. Like, they looked like your grandparent, except uglier, and every single thing they did pissed you off. That would be my experience with Dark Souls 2. There you go. This is a perfect, poignant analogy. Come on, you stupid fucking horse. Kick me. You know I want you to. You know I love it. You know I'm subscribed to horsekicks.net for a reason. Horse kicks are like corn cereal for horses. That's the joke. I don't even know why I chose to fight this shitty boss. It's not like I'm going to join the, the fucking Brotherhood of Blood or whatever they call it in this game. They've probably got some shitty other name for it and the description of it is probably like, Oh, a covenant from an ancient time. Oh, Lord Gwyn, remember Lord Gwyn? Oh, your grandfather does. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember when Lord Gwyn gave up his entire essence to stoke the bonfire and became a hollow shell of his former self? Why am I so bad at fighting you? You're not a hard boss! Nothing about you is difficult, except you were shittily designed by a shitty design group that shouldn't have been allowed to make a fucking Souls game! Someone has, should have had the fucking decency to say, Oh, the director of Dark Souls and Demon Souls isn't going to be on this game. Let's not fucking make it. But no. No, they locked 17 Japanese people in a room with explosive collars around their fucking neck and gave each of them a different weapon and said, You're not leaving until only one of you is alive and there's a fucking Souls game we can goddamn sell. Alright, well, we beat that boss and so we're just having a grand old time. Suppose we should reverse our hollowing. Let's go talk to Twitch again. He's our best friend in the world that we love. I forgot how red my character is. I've been a, a zombie man for so long. Son, it's hard to live in this zombified world. Hey, you. How you doing? No, I'm not joining your shitty covenant. <laughs> He's like, then why are you here? I'm like, I don't know Titchy or Twitchy again. I don't know. We're in Majola to stock up on supplies. That's why I'm here. I also find no levity in this situation. Let's see. I want some of these. And I want some of these. They're good. It's a good thing. Do I have any upgrade materials? I have fire, Drake Stone. Be still my fucking heart. <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up? The goddamn man in the black had some fucking class. You talk to her and you're like, I want to level up. And she's like, okay, well, while you're leveling up, I'm going to recite this nice little poem. And I'm like, well, thank you. I like your little poem and I appreciate it. And I'm glad that you're going to let me level up while I do it. But you talk to the maiden in green or whatever her fucking name is. Uh, Bitch Chandra. And, yeah, I hold on. I have to edit out a goddamn loading screen. I'll start ranting afterwards. 
Yeah, you told her the fucking Emerald Herald there. And she's like, Bear of the curse. Oh, go kill the bosses. It's, it's, it's And then uh, the king, Vendrick. Uh, 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 and she runs out the room like Napoleon fucking Dynamite. And then after 40 minutes of that, then you're fucking allowed to level up. That's the difference. That's the Dark Souls 2 difference. Oh, my arrows I shoot are heat-seeking, because I'm goddamn fucking Hawkeye. That's the lore. Uh, someone get mad in here and be like, Not many people are aware that this one particular skeleton archer here in the Huntsman's Cope is actually famed member of the Avengers Hawkeye. Oh. Oh. Now I'm going to go up these apples for afternoon tea. I don't think that he is actually British, but my version of him is. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. God come down from above and take me into the sky like Elijah in a fiery chariot and take me away from this shitty fucking farce of a Souls game. God damn, don't I love it. Alright, what the fuck are we doing? We have to fight skeleton lords. Let's see how many times I manage to die on this piss easy fight. Might as well get full HP. It's not like life gems are rare. Hey guys. Nice fucking thrones of plywood. Did you get a bunch of day laborers to build that shit for you? There. He's dead. We gotta wait. I don't wanna kill any of the other ones until I kill the four skeletons that appear from his corpse. Because if there's one thing you know about the Dark Souls 2 boss design philosophy, it's ads. You need ads. Somebody was like, here's what happened. The marketing department came up to the game developers, and they were in a room fucking in a bathtub of cocaine, trying to figure out how to make a goddamn video game. And they were like, you know what, we agreed it would be really good and help us out as a company. Why don't you put ads in Dark Souls 2? Meaning they wanted advertisements, like the Estes replaced with a goddamn 3 liter Mountain Dew gamer fuel. And the developer team was like, oh, ads, you say? Very well, we put many ads in Dark Souls 2. I don't know what axes I'm going for. I don't even know if it's racist or not because it's just so uninformed. Uh, and so they put ads in the game, but goddamn, they didn't, the marketing didn't realize ad meant additional enemy during the boss encounter. It's like a goddamn World of Warcraft raid every time you fight a cocksucking boss in this game. Are you the one that makes wheel skeletons? Guess we're going to find out together. Yeah, he is. Excuse me there, uh, sweetheart. I'll deal with you in a minute. I got a little bit of a pressing matter here. Well, he got to rolling, so that's it. GG. I say that as I kill him. Well, you know, close to as I kill him. Where do you think the other wheel skeleton is? Probably, yeah, you are. Hey there. Don't drink and drive, kids. Hope you learned something today. All right, you give me two fucking seconds to get my HP up, and I will find. There. Here I am. Everything you ever wanted. He's like, it's not really... It could have gone better. Oh, yeah, I have a fucking spear. Righty-ho, Chad. Chad? Is Chad watching? I was going to say chaps. I don't know why I changed it to Chad. Oh, Chad, if you're watching, leave it in the comments. He's like, dude, sweet Dark Souls video, brah. You totally beefed it on the chariot fight, though, just like the squid did that one time. There, we beat the skeleton lords. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're going to go, we're going to take out the White House. Okay. Get me to Nishandra so I can shove this sword up her asshole. If she has one. Her skeleton asshole. And end this fucking game. No, I'm not doing the DLC. I only own one piece. I own the Crown of the Sunken King. Which I bought and have never once played. Because why would I? Oh, me, oh my. <laughs> Are you having fun, kids? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and give me money. All right. Let's see. Maybe Harvest Valley will be better. This is where there's an asterisk in the screen at the bottom. It says, no, Harvest Valley won't be better. What are you fucking stupid? All right. What do we got to deal with here? We got to climb. No, first we got to kill Jabba the Hutt. Then we got to climb Asshole's Fortress. Oh, God. The shit we put up with. This fucking game, dude. I played this. I actually played this game quite a bit today because I was bored, and also I can't learn from past mistakes, and so I keep trying to play this fucking game and enjoy it. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll probably see all my shitty tweets where I'm like, oh, "Dark Souls 2 is bad. You shouldn't you shouldn't play Dark Souls 2." Okay, but I can't fucking stop myself. I'm like a dog. 
A dog will eat itself to death. It's like a goldfish. I'm like that otter with a watermelon. I fucking hate it and I can't stop eating it. I think there's a Titanite chunk right here. No, that's a fading soul. Where's the fucking Titanite chunk? You know, I just realized we gotta put our fucking anti-poison shit on our bar, don't we? You can also just use a life gem and it'll like perfectly outheal the damage. Hey you! I'm not fighting you, I'm just running in here, there's items. Hey! You're dead. Deal with it. Skeleton nerd. Revenge of the skeleton nerds. Alright, what's in here that I have to fucking have? In the fart gas. LOL, fart gas guys! The hype is shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, Persona! Let's see. I think there's a fragrant branch of your, as in a fragrant branch of your mama. Who's, I wouldn't call her fragrant, I call her punch. Hey, Gavlin, what have I got to sell you? Is any of this shit stuff I didn't loot off a corpse? Hmm, no, I think it all is. I think it's all legit. You go home, game of the year. Alright. Rawstone! Only if it's Monday Night Rawstone. That joke was solely for Wes. I hope he appreciates it. Alright. Get me through this. <laughs> This run is taking such an unexpected turn. I don't even remember how this run starts. There's like four episodes before this one. There are days. It's like staying at a day's end. I'm riddled with bed bugs and herpes. That should be what their sign says. You know, HBO color TVs. Riddled with bed bugs and herpes. Alright. Hey. You look like Torch Bro, except you're not. You're an asshole. Oh, I can't hit. I keep forgetting I have this fucking spear. He didn't. He remembered quite well I have this fucking spear. You have to un enemies have different types. And so different types of damage. There's here, this is a part where I pretend this is a goddamn informative let's play. Oh, the Dark Souls, you got your different kind of defenses and you got you striking and you slash and you thrust. Slash and thrust, weren't they reboot character? Are my sword and spear at the same level? Plus five, plus four? No, they're not. Get that spear out of my hand. Um, there's another fragrant wrench of your. I guess we might as well grab it. In case I want to unpetrify any lion men. Any big strapping fucking lion men zombies I got to unpetrify. Alright, move. Well, aren't you just the fucking king of Olive Garden up here? Swinging you fucking croissants. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. Not even in my head. In case you're like, what the hell was Tin Fei thinking? Also, my name's not Tin Fei, it's Ben. But what was Ben Fei thinking right there? Well, what I was thinking is, what? <laughs> I said Olive Garden, what? Hey! Fuck you! Alright, if we run down that path over there, we could join Warriors of Sunlight. Like Solaire, remember Solaire? Hey guys, guys, remember Solaire, that guy you liked? I'm being from Solaire, by the way. He's, praise the sun, right, y'all? What, what? Alright, hey, a Titanite shard. Well, ain't I just the luckiest lad in all of Scotland? Alright. I'm using the spear because I realize it actually hurts these big, fat, shirtless green men more, so... And it has reach, so I don't have to get near these big, fat, shirtless green men. So it's a win-win, in my opinion. Hey. I need a weapon that does blood damage. You're like, yeah, you do, son. 420 yellow swag, it's for life. I'm like, yeah, sure. No scope. What do you think they're doing out there, other than pissing me off? See that platform right there? I died 600 times in my first playthrough trying to get through it. You know what's over there? A heavy crossbow. You know what weapon no one in the history of this fucking game has ever used? A heavy crossbow. So, there's no reason to go over there. Oh, I thought there was another shirt guy. Who do you? Elijah. Elijah Craig here is going to get me crunk on some bourbon. No thank you, sir. I believe I can fight Jabba the fucking Hutt by myself. I'm going to go board him like fucking Carrie Fisher. I'm going to wrap a chain around your goddamn neck and then hide in a closet from Michael Meyer. Oh, God. Okay, I got... Oh, by the way, he's weak. The, the spears hurt him more. There, that's another pro tip. So I don't I can't give them all away. Major Mike will be after me. Hey! You're a bad boss. He's like, what? <laughs> what? What the fuck are you doing? You never know what you're doing. Cause damn if I do. I can't hit. Okay, he's gonna roll over like Maru Chan. 
into a goddamn box. All right, we beat him. <laughs> Went a little bit easier. Notice how all of a sudden I can kill bosses again. The worst part was in that last video, I wasn't even there. Oh, look at Till Mirage not here. What a fucking shame. Can't hear her bitch about her goddamn brother. Um, uh, We could go back to Majula and spin these souls before I lose them. Or we could run in here. I could get killed and throw the biggest goddamn tantrum you've ever seen. Mannequins! They have no heads! Oh, spooky. Much spook. Wow. Much terror. Such lore. I'm sure there's a goddamn lore reason why they don't have a head. Get Vadividja in here. He's like, oh, the mannequins of Earthen Peak uh, to cut off their own heads in reverence to the crow from Dark Souls 1 or some shit. I don't fucking know. Alright, there's another fat guy behind that. We gotta kill him. I knew I had to kill it. Hey, he's like, I'm big fat guy. I'm like, nobody's gonna get a bonus stage joke. I'm the only one on the internet to ever watch that Flash series. It was really good, though. Alright. Radiant to Life of Jimador. Oh, much of honor restored by Radiant Life of Why am I doing that? I'm not benefiting anyone. Hey, Grave Warden, why don't you drop your robe for me? You drop it in every other playthrough I've ever done. But not this time. Take that robe to Valhalla and fucking use it to wipe fucking Odin's cum stains off your chin. You motherfucker. How have I, have I not killed the one in the back? All right. The man in the back said everyone attack. What's over there? Another mannequin and a pike. And while he may be a tragically uncelebrated Starfleet captain, I can't get him out of a chest because he's a preset item. So, so sorry. Alright, you've been cut to death. Alright, kids. You know what we need to do? We gotta light this shit. Hey, check it out, ghost man. I lit the fuck... Alright, here's Ted Fay pro tip if you've never played Dark Souls 2 and you grew up in a cave with Tony Stark building the Iron Man suit. You have to burn this so the poison doesn't kill you. Notice all the... Can well, no, the players tell you to do it. Torch and then hurrah for fire. See? From software, doesn't. It's not like you find uh, Gilligan out there and he's like, Oh, did you know that there's a snake lady here and if you burn the windmill she ain't got an airdrop poison? No. No. There's the mannequin head. It looks cool in the teasers for Dark Souls 2 where it's like this smooth, creepy mask with eyes. In this version, it looks retarded. Pants on head retarded. Hope that's not your trigger word. Alright. Hey, Gilligan. Why don't you fuck up us getting off the island? Alright, you gotta talk to him for 40 fucking minutes. I like how he's like a fat guy. You don't see fat people in Dark Souls that much, do you? He's like, oh, I ain't fat, I'm chubby. I'm like, you're fat. He's like, with a pH? I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, you words sting me right to the bone, they do. All right, we got some aromatic ooze. I don't even want to know how he makes that. We learned the prostitution or whatever fucking thing where we bow to your sensei. Put that on my fucking shit. There. Now when I do bad in the game, I can be like, oh, the arigato, YouTube senpai. Great to dishonor. I'm doing so many bad Asian impressions this episode, I don't know why. Oh, shit. I fell off a ledge. Damn. All right. Reborn from a dream. Nights in the dreams. Oh, shit. You kind of need comfort down. Ain't their head on you, and you still act like assholes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, do you feel good? Do you feel important? Ooh, maybe we got a fat drop. Holy shit! What are we wearing? Hollow infantry gloves. Well, this is a steep upgrade. Aw, oh, but I'm so ugly, even with my Ryan Gosling and Drive gloves. So, ooh, we're almost out of uh, human effigies. I used them so little in normal play, I forgot what they were called. See, the thing is, in a normal playthrough, you just put a ring of life protection on, and then you never use another human effigy. But, uh, yeah, this playthrough, I'm burning through them like fucking Ritz crackers, son. With peanut butter on them. Goddamn delicious. Alright, let's not fall off a ledge for no reason this time. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever fallen off of that. Should have gotten an achievement server first. These gloves are they're pretty slag. Pretty swag. I almost said pretty slag. I feel like that's an insult in some culture. Also, where'd Gilligan go, huh? To torment the skipper? No, I won't stop making Gilligan's Island jokes. Shut up. 
<laughs> it's all I have. Don't take it from me. Hey, what you got out here? Simpleton Spice. I don't know why he has his hard time saying it. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, up at the top is a Mirage Shield, which I wouldn't even use if I wasn't playing a Deprived playthrough. So, no thank you, sir. We're going to fight you with a spear. Spearman Johnson. Hey. Hey. He's like, what? I'm like, nothing. I just spoke to you with a spear. Ain't got to get upset. It's nothing to get mad about. Desert Sorceress. Hey. I didn't mean to use a life team. I meant to throw one of these at you. Oh, no. Somehow wearing a bra and a fucking tablecloth around my waist didn't give me armor. How could this have happened? That's her body, her choice. What's in this fucking chest? Other than disappointment. Soul of a brave warrior in crimson water. Man, if a piece of their set drops, I guess I have to wear it. I knew I had to wear it. We're going to come down here just to make pay proud of us. He's going to give us his set, but unfortunately I don't think I can use it. It's not really a drop, so sorry, Pate. I'm just advancing your storyline more than anything. All right, we got to throw Pate's shit away. Sorry, so sorry. Buy Pate's helmet. Buy Pate's armor. Buy inventory management skills because I apparently threw them away. Buy Pate's gloves. I feel like I'm advertising. I'm like, come on down to Pate's warehouse. Buy Pate's armor. Make yourself look. This is a Crichton kills you. Uh, Pate's spear. And a page shield. I just stood in front of him and threw all that shit away. I was like, Pate, I would wipe my ass with this armor. He's like, oh, well, <laughs> I beat you to that. And I'm like, oh. Oh. Hey, stupid. Yeah, you. He's like, I'm not stupid. Like, you have a bag on your head. He's like, it's a funeral shroud. I'm like, like that's better? These bitches are fucking crazy. There. Hey. How you doing, sweet cheeks? Uh, not that good right now, are you? Come on, fat drops. Oh, damn it. Come on. Yeah, we're going to be sexy. Oh, my God. Son, look at that. Pure, raw sex appeal. Is that worth... That has a trap in it. Let's hope it's poison gas. No, it's a crossbow. Roll, roll. It shoots in all directions simultaneously. My character's looking more and more like him from Powerpuff Girls, I realized. If I get those shoes, the Desert Sorcerer's shoes, then it'll be complete. Uh, he's like, I could throw knives too. I'm like, shit if you can't. Oh god, I gotta. I need fat heels throwing me. God damn, I'm glad I got this poison moss on my bar. I knew I had to eat it. Alright. I hope people watching my videos have also watched the Game Chasers. <laughs> uh, okay, you're finally dead. No, I'm not fighting you. I'm going to jump over you. He's like, what? Come back. Ooh. I'm like, he's really upset. I'm like, Who are you? That Jody. Five letters. Okay. Well, you can stay right there. Who the hell puts a summon sign down there anyway? We gotta break these without getting poisoned. Man, my character has got a weird appearance. No, don't do it. Poison pants. Poison pants. I don't know why I'm going in there. There's a ring I can't use because it's not a drop off an enemy. Hey, gals. Hey, sweet cheeks. You get a throwing knife, and you get a throwing knife, and they both got poisoned bukkake. It was a good day to be a desert sorceress enthusiast. I'm not won't lie though. Oh man, if their chest piece drops, I'm gonna be the strappingest, reddest man in all of Drang Lake. I'll get my own lore entry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Come on! Ooh. Look at me! Hey, hey, hey. This is a weird appearance. I feel like my character is very distinct amongst Dark Souls characters. If anyone invades me, they're going to be like, oh, and they're just going to leave. They're going to be like, okay, dude. <laughs> Did not know what was going on here, but carry on. Hey, come fight me. I've got one of your friend's pants on. He's like, you do. I'll get you for this gadget. I'm like, are you doing a Dr. Claw impression? Because it's awful. 
Holy shit! Oh, but our sexy seductive gloves. Now ah, whatever. Now we look like an actual, you know, warrior of some culture. Perhaps Mayan or Incan or Swedish. It's like, da is good. Put on battle skirt. Thrust many times with spear. I'm getting their full set. How did I get? We're up all night to get lucky. I finally have a chest piece. Holy shit. I've been upgraded to the best fucking character in the game. Hey, stupid. He's like, stupid, you're the one running here and stab the air. I'm like, yeah, that's what the cool kids do. Stab in the air. They're like, hey, brah. Let's meet up after school at Wendy's and stab some wicked air. And I'm like, can I come? And they're like, do you know how to stab air? I'm like, no, I just want a frosty. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't even have to go with you. I just want to go to Wendy's. They're like, whatever, narc. I'm like, I played that. You blow motherfuckers up that game. You see 1 a.m. gaming, and by this point they left. There's a petrified something in here. I like to think it's a dragon nut. It's actually supposed to be a dragon egg. Dragon nut Z. Such a weird contrast in colors on well, my character. His eyes are. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this character. Let's summon Jester Thomas, because I do not feel like dealing with this snake bitch. And Jester Thomas is just the man. Oh, Jester Thomas. What are you thinking? He's like, I'm going to throw fireballs. I'm like, okay. I'm glad you got a game plan. I don't want you to talk anymore, but <laughs> I'm glad you know what you're doing. Alright, we gotta jump Poison River. Jump! Or run through it anyway. I accidentally avoided her fucking uh, magic attack. I've got a snake tail and I swing it around like I'm so fucking cool. Get out of that poison, crazy bitch. Stop restoring your HP. Thomas, save me! Oh. <laughs> She's like, where's your Thomas now? I'm like, are you carrying hugs a lot, Bear? From Toy Story 3? No, her head's gonna blow up! Thomas, it's a goddamn train wreck! Alright, Thomas, I'm gonna, not gonna lie. I'm gonna be over here drinking a little Estes. I'm gonna need you to step up. No, Jester Thomas. You need to pull high aggro. High aggro. Ugh. Double chug. Ooh, ooh. No. Why won't she attack Jester Thomas? I don't understand. I don't understand. There. I was waiting for my frame rate to stop being so shitty. All right, we need to summon Jester Thomas before we even deal with these two assholes. These two chuckle fucks. Chuckle fuck A and chuckle fuck B. Oh, I'm not human form, so I can't summon Thomas. Damn it. Fine. Maybe I'll fight the boss without Jester Thomas. I'm about to die, by the way. I'm also about to lose like 30k souls, aren't I? Eh, whatever. Who gives a shit? Bye, Grave Wardens. Okay. Sip. Then we run around the arena like a jackass, preferably. A little Benny Hill in the background. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? Tell you what, we're gonna spear. Spear it up. Hey, you. I realize the music is actually turned off now because I was playing this earlier, and when I play Dark Souls 2, I have to have, like, Pandora or something running in the background because otherwise it's too fucking heartbreaking. I can't believe I didn't dodge that. That's okay. You wanna do range attacks? Huh? I got range deeps too, baby. Woo! Woo! Stabby, stabby. That does a shitload more damage that piece of shit sword. Damn, spears all day, baby. Spear eye for the sword guy. Hey, hey. Why did that not damage? No, get out of the poison! Ow! Shut up, baneful. Mitha? She's like, Mitha, so haunty. I'm like, ugh. This ain't Monster Girl Quest. You keep them snake tits to yourself, sweet cheeks. She's like, I ain't got cheeks. I'm like, oh shit. I knew there was a reason I didn't like you. I knew I had to kill her. Alright. You're so fucking easy. So easy even the kids can kill her. I thought I needed Jester Thomas, but it turns out Jester Thomas needed me. No! You get out of that poison! Oh god, she knows how, my, how to trigger me, son. Once she gets in that poison and starts healing herself, I can't resist. Throwing not. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> ah! No, I shouldn't have. Okay. That third 
that sip sip was risky, but whatever. Will you fucking die already? Nobody likes you. Okay? There's a reason you're a baneful queen. It's because nobody else had the fucking DC to deal with you. What, did you turn yourself into that to be eternally young or some stupid shit that Gilligan was spewing? Because he's drunk. Alright, you're dead. Or you would be if you couldn't hop. No! What, I tell you about getting that poison? You gonna ruin my car? No, seriously, you need to get the fuck out of that poison. Oh, guess what? Bah! Deal with it! And then I'm doing this because it's my newest thing. That was fun. Oh my god, where the fuck did these people hold a grudge? You crowd fight too much. Damn, that scared the shit out of me. Alright, take me up into the sunken earth or whatever. Because the spatial awareness game made no fucking sense. I'm down to one human effigy. Ah, uh, we've fallen so far. Whoo! I think we can buy some from whatever his name is. Dragon Man. Uh, we gotta go back to Majula at some point. Man, I really need a blunt weapon. You're like, oh yeah, bro. I'm like, stop it! <laughs> You're so annoying, and mysterious guy. Who I made up. Where could we get a blunt weapon? I, does any enemy drop a mace? The mace is the most broken fucking weapon in the game. Or a club? I don't think a club is anywhere in the game other than you buy it from that merchant lady. Merchant hag uh, Matilda. I'm calling her that. I honestly could not tell you if that's her name or not. I, I think it starts with an M. Uh, Alright, let's fight some alone knights. Forever alone knights. Oh, upvote! Alright. Hey. How's it going, buddy? Someday I'll stop on these throwing knives. Roll backwards. Roll backwards. We're doing hot PvP on this bridge, son. You have too much fucking range on your stubby little piece of shit katana. He's like, piece of shit katana. I bought this from the flea mall. I'm like, yeah, there you go. It shows. No, seriously, the hitbox and that thing's fucking ridiculous. Let's see if the sword does better. The sword is mightier than, like, the big lighter. I don't know that expression. Ha! Ah! Bitch, please. I'm flawless. All right. I wonder if I'll get any of their armor. Big doors. Small battles. Hey guys. I'm in your base. Etc. All your base. It's funny. Alright. Come on. Roll. Oh, I thought I was going to get the Highlander in, but it didn't. What you doing? Hmm? What you doing? That. You get two throwing knives because you've been good this year. Because you're my favorite. Don't tell your brother. Alright, let's go talk to this asshole. Hey, buddy! I landed on top of him. Mar Mage Rolled of Lonifer? Okay. How you doing? Guess I'll buy that. Some of these things could come in handy later. Oh, I should have used some of that shit during that last fight, shouldn't I? Also, I could yell very good at people in a wheel. Alright, um... Yeah. Okay. Bye. He's like, so do you like dragons? I'm like, I guess. I'm gonna assume I don't like them as much as you do. He's like, you sure don't? Mm-hmm. One day I'm gonna be a pretty dragon. I'm like, okay, you can get right on that, buddy. Start you a tumbler and just get right fucking on it. They're gonna love you. Alright. Woo, let's get watered up. Let's get sopping fucking wet. I should have grabbed that item. We're gonna grab this key without dying. Come on, baby. Let's grab a key. Yeah. Alright. We did it. And now we just had to be a gloice gloistening. Ugh. Glistening, <laughs> dimming, uh, glistening. Sounds awful. All right, there's big old Belista in here. I was about to say big old Bautista in here. I was like, damn. All right, it's a very weird place to keep one of these. It's just for shooting this guy. Oh, get wrecked! Hey guys, I'm over here. Come fight me. Alright, the spear will work better here because we're in close quarters and that way I won't have to deal with any shit. Hey! 
Turns out the spear is uh, pretty nice. Do you want to fight? Hey, 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 you want to fight me? <laughs> wow. Get crumb. Wow, that poor fucker. He had a lot on him. All right, what the hell are we doing? Do -do 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 I guess let's just continue. I don't have any way of dealing with you just yet. I gotta deal with these assholes first. Hey, come on, buddy. Come on. It's right over here where your friend can't shoot entire fucking redwood tree trunks at me in the form of great arrows. All right. Oh, damn it. You can't figure out what you're doing, where you're coming or going, can you, buddy? It worked for you, though. Your shitty pathfinding is your greatest ability. Because goddamn if I could predict where you were going. These lie. I need more life gems, man. I'm eating these things like Tic Tacs. And I believe I don't even need to state what color of Tic Tacs they are. Because there's only one color of Tic Tac worth eating. Hey. Well, you can double tap these fuckers if you know what you're doing. By the way, you open that door right there. Profound sadness. Not gonna lie to you, kids. It's not a good time in there. Hey, bridge man. Come on. Come on. Or back away from me. That works too. And that's. There you go. Ow. I'm so busy looking at shitty path. Did he fall on those steps down there? Really? Alright, we're gonna roll over to that shit. Roll. All right. Thank you. Jumping. Turn this shit. That will get rid of that fire. So when we go through that door, it'll no longer be profound sadness. No, 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 no. Bitch, trying to knock me off my goddamn pedestal. All right. Go ahead and pull this shit. That'll even out that bridge. It's a really strange design. We never build this place. He's gonna hit me in the back of an arrow, isn't he? I'm gonna get good and mad. Okay, luckily he can't fucking hit anything. <sighs> Gotta kill this guy up here. For the satisfaction of it. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, look at you. You're like a anime character. It's, it's like I'm really in Bleach right now. Oh, shit. I gotta get the fuck away from him. He's gonna Kurosaki Ichigo my ass. Woo! I think this calls for a sip. Get sipped. All right. Hey. You having fun up there? What, do you not know how to use a ladder? How the hell did you graduate? There. Man, this is the longest I've ever gone without getting a drop from one of those guys. A black steel katana would round out my repertoire of weaponry. That's hard to say, dude. Even for me. And you know how elegant and poised I am with language. 